And our training today will be starting a new module, Network Analysis. So this is video one of this model. And uh, in this model, we'll be covering everything that has to do with network analysis. So to begin this video, we're starting with how to prepare network data. So we're preparing the data you're going to use for network analysis. All right, so starting off, we need, uh, we have a few data here. So we have the residential, we have the hospital, we have the road layers, and we have the boundary. This is AMAC. It's Abuja Municipal Area Council. So um, that's where we're using in Nigeria. That's what we're using. So we're preparing the data. We're starting with uh, buildings are digitized. So to, you can, and then, you know, we cannot use polygon for this. That's where we convert the polygon to a point. So the first thing you do is to prepare your data by coming to future. You type in on the search button box, future to point. So you convert this polygon to a point, future to point. So choose the building and then you select the portion you want this point to be. And then maybe I'll leave it at the default layer. So um, it's going to convert this and then So it's converted. Okay, so it's converted to the point. So you can see the point here. All right, so the next is we have a point to prepare for a residential. So let me, I've done it before. I just did it again for you to see. So let's remove this. Okay, so this is our data for that. So the next, we are going to be dealing with the road. Okay, so. Uh, let's come on the road and then um all of this data has to be on projected coordinate system okay so you have to be on pro uh, co uh, projected coordinate system so our road especially so let's go get check that whether we're already on the projected coordinate system okay so we are not on projector coordinate system, we are on GCS, geographic coordinate system. So the next thing we'll do to the road layer is to convert it to a project it to projector coordinate system. So search on the toolbar project, and then you use project under data management. Instead of going to the toolbox to go through this, I prefer to just search. Once you know the name of the tool, you just search and then it should pop up. Okay, so it's popped up and then I fix in the road. It's showing the coordinate system is so I'm projecting it to the new one, which uh you go to project code projector coordinate system, then you go to UTM, then you go to WGS nineteen eighty four, Northern Hemisphere, then soon. 32 care zone 32 and then you add it to your favor so that you don't keep coming every time but myself i've added it so that's why so then um we go to where we want to save and then we use this folder And then this folder, we change it because we need the data as a shape file. Okay. Uh, let's drop it here. We can export it as a shape file anyway. So, uh, okay, let's leave it at default folder. Let's leave it at default folder. We will project it later on. So, we okay. It's projected so now we we'll remove this road and then we export this to the folder we want but we want it in shapefile 
that's the reason why I didn't put it in a folder. So we want all of this data. Data that you use for network analysis should be on shapefile. Okay, so uh, I'm exporting, exporting it to Okay. Yes, it's actually nice. Wait, yeah, I want it. So now the next thing, I remove this also. So we have our root layer now. But then, when you come to editor, and then you click on this, you will realize that the root are cut at just anywhere they feel like. Okay. So what we need to do first. Is to dissolve this. So you go to geoprocessing and then you click on dissolve. So we'll bring in the lid, the root layer which we want to dissolve, and then uh, we can leave it at default layer since I'm still going to um, do other things. So let's leave it at default layer. I can later. So let's dissolve it. Um, if you click on this dissolve now, just click one layer, you realize that all of them will be selected. Okay, so, okay, let's uncheck this. So once you click on this, you see that all of them are selected. So you see all of them I selected. So now what we do next is stop editing. Then we go back to go back to search box and we type future to line this time around. So we are converting the fu entire future into a segment of lines. Okay. So that's what we'll be doing now. So you click on the one under data management. So, okay. And then you bring in the dissolve tool. Uh, then, yeah, we put in our root here. So we can say root. Um, uh, since we have root future already, layer already and it. So now it's going to convert this to line. Okay, so I'm back to it. All right, so it's directed to land. Okay, so next you right click on the road layer and then you go to add with table. Um, so we create a new field, add a new field. So this new field, we call it length, which is want to generate the length of this. Now for you to be able to generate this length, your data has to be on projected coordinate system. That's why we did that projection. So you see that length is approved here, but if it was not, you will see that they will not approve length, something like that. So, so our length is being calculated right now. So Next, we add another field, sorry, not select. We add another field, and this time we name it uh, speed. Want to calculate the speed? So you right click on top of the layer and you go to uh, cal uh, field calculator. Now, the default this uh, distance per hour is four four thousand kilometer per hour. So um, in meters is forty thousand. So 
to OK for it to compute and write it on this place automatically. Since it's the same value, there's other calculation depending on what you want to do at a point. OK, so uh, you can check out more details on how to calculate it for this. OK, but this I'm using the default value, which is 4000, but we are using this in meters. That's the reason why I'm doing that in uh, I'm putting up the 40,000. So now the next, we will add an log view. And this field will be called time. And this time are going to be in minutes. Okay, so it's okay. So now we want to calculate the time, right click and then you go to field calculator. Then what's the formula? The formula is length divided by length divided by the speed. Sorry. Length divided by the speed. Also divide by, since we need it in minute, divide by 60. And then we OK. So it's going to calculate it in minutes. The time is going to appear now in minutes. OK, so here is the time. It's calculated. So this is all the data you need to prepare. So the next video. We will be, we'll start with the network data set. So, um, stay tuned for the next video.